What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm demonstrating the automatic hotbed cleaning feature on the A1 Mini from Bamboo Lab. All right, so I just got this printer, and this is one of my first prints, and yeah, there's a slight error. So this is that scraper tool that comes with the machine, or it comes loaded into the machine. It's probably one of the first prints that everybody does. And the first part of the scraper, this part here, goes really well. For filming it, I should have zoomed out more. Until this, I had only printed a couple things. What had I printed? I printed a Benchy, and then I printed one of my own things. And they were both way smaller, so it was easier. Oh, and a lens filter container, which is really awesome. Um, but they were all smaller things, so I didn't have to worry about the shot capturing everything. Here, I'm way too zoomed in, but I'm figuring things out. This is really just a test video. I'm figuring out how to track the printer head. This printer head moves so quick sometimes. Right now, this video looks way too wild. It's just, yeah, too zoomed in for how quick these little movements are. In the future, I'll be zoomed out more and I'll make it so that we can see the entire print. That's a cool movement. There are so many cool movements with filming this, it makes me really happy. I could have done a tracking shot of that. I do one in a little bit here. But yeah, this thing is such a cool... Right now, this printer is still on sale this month for 200 bucks. Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, highly recommended for anybody who's never done any 3D printing. I mean, you can't go wrong for the price. So yeah, right here, I track it. I wonder what's up with that filament buildup on the nozzle right there. If that's something I have to be concerned with. I think it has an automatic cleaning thing where it cleans off the nozzle. I'm trying to see if it did clean it off. It might have just come off. It's so hard to tell, that thing moves so quick. It moves so quick, and then it goes to doing nice, smooth little motions. So yeah, I'm gonna be playing around with 3D printing and with video a bunch. This is kind of just like me testing things, figuring things out, all that good stuff. But in the future, I want to actually create better videos. I'm already pretty happy though, even just with this. I need to get the lighting better, I need to frame it better, I need to plan out my shots. One thing I didn't realize at all coming into this is just the way that the axes move. So I forget which one's X and which one's Y. The printer head only moves one direction and then the bed moves the other direction. I guess the printer head also moves vertically up and down, but that's less of a thing unless I'm doing a very tall print. That one's easier to account for. The horizontal movements are tricky, and the movements towards the camera, that's just the bed moving that way. But one thing I could do is I could orient the part on the bed so that it's coming towards the camera, really. And if I did that, the printer head would not be going as far side to side but the part would be going in and out of focus towards the camera, which could look kind of cool, but it would be even more motion, kind of. Things that I wouldn't have even like factored in before getting the printer and seeing how it works. It's pretty cool though, knowing that that printer head isn't ever moving forward towards the camera. That really does mean that I could get that camera in there pretty close without having to worry as long as the bed won't hit it. If you can stay above the bed and the part that's being printed, as long as that won't hit the camera, then you can get the camera in there pretty close. Basically, I just didn't realize how predictably the printer head moves, because it only moves side to side. And how predictably the bed moves, because it only moves forward and backward. I could play with different infills. I can play with all the stuff. Right here, I'm using matte PLA, but I also have regular PLA. I have PETG, I think. 
I have TPU on order, and I'm looking forward to that one. TPU is supposed to be like really strong and a little bit flexible, depending on the kind of TPU you get. I think I got TPU 95A. And I might be talking about these things all wrong. If you know about 3D printing, feel free to tell me any of the terminology, correct any of the stuff. But I'm reading up, I'm learning things, I'm watching videos, and I do at least have some knowledge of like machining and welding and video stuff and woodworking. So like there's similar things, kind of. I know the basics about G-Code, but so far I haven't played with G-Code at all with this. G-Code intimidates me, even with just boring, plain, CNC, simple things. With 3D printer, it seems like it could be wild. One modification I'm going to try making to this printer pretty quick is you can hear the fans going. There are three fans total. I looked into them a bit. So two of them, one is for the hot end. I don't want to mess with that one. Another one is for cooling the part. I don't really want to mess with that one either, I don't think. And then one of them is for the motherboard. And that motherboard fan is going, like, constantly. And that one I feel pretty safe to mess with. So I'm going to try putting in a little bit larger Noctua fan. Right now it's got a 25 millimeter by 10 millimeter fan. And I'm going to try switching it out with a 40 millimeter by 10 which should move like twice as much air and be way quieter. So hopefully we won't even hear the motherboard fan. This looks so cool to me. Welding video is another thing I've been playing with and that looks cool to me as well, but that one is like a struggle to see what's happening. This one, the only struggle is just how quick it moves. But that would be easy to deal with just by zooming out a little bit. With welding, I want to get in as close as I could. So I kind of came at this with that mentality of, I want to see every detail. And we do get a good amount of details here. It's crazy how, qui how high quality these prints are from a $200 printer with no knowledge or experience, just hitting play, basically. Like, they're not perfect, sure, but... It's better than I would expect from just hitting play on a $200 machine. Now, if you have like a $1,000 machine and years of experience, then yes, I'd expect you to be able to get really high quality prints. But I've been super impressed so far. And I don't know exactly what my plan is yet for YouTube. I want to do somewhat regular videos like this, I think where I'm not doing a ton of editing, I'm not putting a ton of effort into it, a little bit, but just kind of updating people and it keeps me, like, it keeps me being productive. And then once a week, or at worst, once a month, I wanted to try to do one highly edited video where I actually, like, work on it and try to improve and write out a real script instead of just talking off the top of my head. So we'll see if I actually do that or not. But at the very least, I want to keep doing this style of video. And we'll see if anybody watches. If anybody enjoys it, you'll have to let me know. Give me feedback. I'm very open to suggestions, ideas. Who knows? I might ignore them, but I'm, I would like to hear them, definitely. Negative, positive, whatever. I say that. We'll see if I regret it. This lettering is so cool to me. Look at how quick it does it. It starts out looking a little bit rough, but by the end, it looks so good. This is the end right now. It's only three layers. That is wild. And then it zooms forward. That looks so cool to me. And this is where I didn't have the filament is not sticking to the bed. Poor adhesion. Which I'm guessing that's just because the plate probably has some oils on it. Because I've been touching the plate way too much. I haven't cleaned it. I should clean it. I'm going to clean it after this. But yeah, it just didn't stick to the plate. 
and I'm cutting the video. I cut the video throughout this a little bit so that we're not just watching like 25 minutes of this. So this is being sped up. But you can just see that blob forming. I think what saved me is that it's such a small part. So it started lifting up on the Z-axis pretty quickly. So it's not being smashed down into the bed. Because if it was doing that, then the filament would be like feeding back into the extruder, into the hot end, whatever it's called. I'm trying to learn all the terminology, but there's a lot to learn. I'm learning Fusion 360. I'm learning new stuff about video. I'm learning about the printer. I pulled it apart and looked at the motherboard and the cooling fan today. I'm learning about filament. Just, it's a lot of stuff to learn. But that also means it's like super fun. I'm really into this right now. And I'm trying to, by the end of the month, I want to be able to justify buying a second printer and this time getting the AMS for it so that I can do multicolor printing. Multicolor printing, the problem is I really hate the idea of wasting. So you have to come up with like efficient prints or print multiple things because multicolor wastes a lot. But that one detail aside, it's really cool. And here is the automatic bed cleaning action. It just made me laugh when I came back over. Luckily, I caught this part fairly quick. It didn't do this forever. This is uncut. But, yeah. It's just good that I am actually kind of paying attention to the machine. I mean, it did take me a while to come over and see it. But that's because I was sitting there playing with Fusion 360. But I'm into it enough that I'm taking video of it, that I come over here and check on it, all that stuff. So I don't think there was any major damage. I haven't printed again since, but I think it's fine. I was able to remove the filament and this came right off as a single piece. I think it's good to go. I'm gonna print more as soon as I finish up with this video. And I've already got things recorded that I'm working on editing, but I just, figured this one's just a fun little stupid thing that happened. My first printing error. So get that out there. So yeah, this has been my first 3D printing video. I'm planning on doing more. Give me feedback, all that good stuff for now. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.